good day to you, Art One students. This is Miss Wagner here. This is with your assignment of the week. This week we're going to be doing something new and completely different. It's one of my very favorite art forms. It is collage. The first thing that we'll need to talk about before getting started are supplies. What are you going to need to use to create your artwork? I use a lot of older damaged books in my collage. Um, I also use magazines. If you have some of these things at home, that's great, but I'm going to show you that you can create collages from even more commonly found things, such as calendars. You might have a few that are going to expire for the year. Empty boxes from food you might be eating at home. Stuff that comes out of the newspaper, okay, like these things here. Catalogs. We're getting a lot of catalogs this time of year. And then one of my favorites is uh, coupons and junk mail. Lots of letters and fun images that you can use in your collages. Also, you're going to need some scissors. Um, whatever size works for you is fine. I usually have a couple different sizes, but if you've only got one pair, just work with what you've got. And then some kind of glue. I think working with these types of papers, especially coming out of catalogs and magazines, a glue stick is probably best for you just so it doesn't get too soggy. But again, if all you've got is the bottled glue, you can use that as well. Um, no need to get fancy, just make do with whatever it is that you've got. A couple of blank sheets of paper also can come in handy. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. So next, themes and ideas. What kind of subject matter are you going to have for your work? And it's really going to be completely up to you. It's going to depend on the resources that you have at home. So if the things that you get in your house are a bit more serious, like this magazine here, maybe you're going to speak about social justice or human rights. If what you have follows a theme of activities that people in your household participate in, like this Ducks Unlimited magazine, well then maybe you're going to go with a theme like that. But for my junk mail examples, I'm going to go with humor. It is totally okay for you to be kind of silly with your work. I'm going to be contrasting or what we call juxtaposing color in one collage and animals and people in the other collage. So we'll just get some of these pieces out here that I have been working on. And just kind of talk through. They're, they're not finished yet, but I'll just show you my process and give you some tips along the way. One thing that you want to make sure that you do when you are creating a collage is to cut cleanly. So turn your object and make sure that your scissors are following the contour, the edges of everything that you're going to cut out. The more neatly you cut things out, the more convincing this new scene that you're creating is going to be. When you apply glue to your pieces, it's nice to have a separate piece of paper you know, instead of the piece of paper that you're actually working on to apply the glue. So if I put my glue on over here, I'm not gonna get extra glue on the background of my paper. And then I can just lift it up and I can place the object where I want it to go over there. And then the next thing you're going to want to remember is to layer from the back. So in the example on the right here, you know, I had kind of set it up where my cow, you know, it has these human feet, but this fudge sauce is the body of my cow. And then I found some human arms to add to it. When I go to glue this down, I don't want to start by gluing the arm to the paper first because obviously other pieces have to go underneath it. So you start with the lowest pieces and you work your way up. And let's go back to this red and white one here for a second. So I found this in just a, a coupon magazine from Kroger. I would probably cut away um, most of the background around here, but I, I thought that this cup with the peppermint stick was fun. And in my Reach magazine, I found this lady, I think she was being proposed to, and so she's very surprised. But it was only half of a figure, and I sort of rounded her off at the bottom because I thought it would be kind of funny if she was in the cup. So your placement is really important, again, to make your scene look convincing. So it looks like she's in the cup here. And I was going through some of my other catalogs, and I just, I found this dog. 
and he was just really festive and green so I'm contrasting the red with the green and I thought he might be sitting here just kind of watching what is she doing in another catalog I found this girl and she had a whisk in her hand so she was stirring something in a bowl her arm didn't really fit into my composition where I wanted her because I really wanted her kind of on the edge of the cup so it looked like she was stirring and making all of the splashing that was going on in there. So I cut her shoulder off so that she would line up with that side of the peppermint stick. And then I would overlap my lady here. So just to create kind of a funny and unique scene. This one uses the background of my magazine page. This one is just done on white paper, which you can do too. This is obviously a work in progress. I had a lot of fun putting the cow together with the fudge sauce, you know, and then finding body parts that sort of fit, you know, came out of the shoulders and you know, maybe held on to the jar here. And I have an idea that I want to do something else with this jar of mustard. And I've got a couple of legs. I just don't know what I want to put on the top yet. But I wanted to show you an example of how you can do this with just a blank paper. And it can still be really effective and a lot of fun. So the last thing that we're going to talk about are just some frequently asked questions. Things you might be thinking, can I do this or should I do that? Um, how many pieces do I use? I don't really have a set limit, but five pieces seems like a good start to make sure that you've got good visual interest in your work. So when I was looking at this example, you know, I've got the background, I've got the dog, I've got the girl that's acting surprised, I've got the one that's doing the mixing, and then I actually have a different whisk that I had to insert in her hand because the one she was holding in the original image was just too small and was not working. I got that from my Bed Bath & Beyond ad. Um, these are a work in progress, but you can tell that I have at least five pieces started there. Does it have to have a background? We already talked about that. It might. It might not. It might be plain and white. And that could be fine as long as your idea is visually interesting. Can you include letters, numbers, or words? And the answer to that is yes. So those are your collage basics. I want you to have fun with your work, and I can't wait to see what you come up with.